Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever video, so please bear with me. I'm making this video today to show you how I'm staying organized for school now that everything is online. I will be using the Simplified Planner. Um, I just picked it up at Walmart for like, it was like $12, um, but you can really use any planner. Sorry for all the noise in the background. Everybody is home right now. This is uh, like one of the first times my whole family has been home since, I don't know, maybe Christmas. <laughs> Um, I live in Maine, I go to school in Maine, my family is from Pennsylvania. Right now I'm here with my stepdad, three little siblings, my mother and my partner Emma. Um, so we have a full house. It's important to plan your day, especially with so many people in the house. There's so many distractions from home. Um, I struggle enough working like living in a dorm and going to classes staying on task and even though I live in a dorm and I go to all in-person classes I struggle to stay on task and stay organized myself you know uh and that's having structure built into my day um people thrive on structure I you know, whatever your situation may be, whether you're a high school student who is now learning from a laptop and your school's right down the road, or you're like me, a college student whose dorm's closed and you got sent halfway across the country to live in your mother's basement. <laughs> um, every student in the U.S. right now is most likely, you know, doing remote online learning. So here's just... A couple tips on staying organized. So how I'm using my simplified planner. So an uh, issue a lot of students are running into right now is their classes and assignments are totally different than they were at the beginning of the year. So I actually wrote down um, all the ways my school has changed. Like for my accounting class, he's doing YouTube lectures now. Um, you know, the homework is going to be emailed in. There are two projects instead of three due now. Um, two more exams uh, and reading quizzes for astronomy, YouTube lectures, and he's going to do the homework in a Word document. And business, um, he emails us the notes and then we're to reply to the notes weekly. And then he emails me a weekly case study and I'm to reply to the case study. And it's important to write all these things down and maybe keep them at the front of your planner. Because before, like, for my business class, um, we didn't have homework. We only had, like, four papers and an exam every four weeks that was due. Now we have weekly homework, and I don't think he's doing exams anymore. And then for, like, accounting, homework was due on Friday. And we had a couple exams and a couple projects. He bumped down the number of projects for us. Um, he uploaded lectures to YouTube. Same with my astronomy professor. He's doing YouTube lectures. So it's really important to... Also, it's important to figure out whether or not you have Zoom classes or you have YouTube lectures. Because some professors are making us use Zoom now. I saw these really funny shirts the, the other day on Instagram that was like a little crest like a college would have and then it said zoom university on it and i was like oh yeah uh i'm still laughing about that one um so it's important to schedule your day also um but before we get into scheduling your day because we don't have structure anymore we don't have classes that we go to and events that we go to and like time for shopping and time for hanging out with friends it's important that you maybe make a little daily life calendar. I got this sticker pack from Walmart. That's really cute, but you can, again, just write it on a piece of paper or use a regular notebook to plan your day, like write in dates. So, um, here's my daily life planner. I made this with stickers and I just wrote some things in there. So daily life, you know, you wake up, I, I try to wake up uh, by 10 at the latest, 
And that gives me an hour to have my coffee, um, walk my dog. Um, I check my phone and then I check in with my family. So it's important to something else. So I put check phone in there. Um, that mostly means check the news and check Facebook. Um, I've tried to avoid being on my phone too much during the day recently and set times for myself to check the news because I don't know if I have Apple News and I got into the bad habit of when the virus broke out checking it about 10, 20 times a day, like all day, just constantly refreshing Apple News. And it's like not healthy to look at the news that much, especially with everything that's happening right now. It's not healthy to be on your phone all the time and look at the news all the time. Like it's not what you want to be doing. So I spe set specific times to check um, my phone. And then at 11, I start school. So, like I said, you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. This is just like a template. But at 11, I start school. There's a reminder on there to check my email. Um, a really good reminder is to take a small 15 minute break if you start to lose focus. Like it's really important to um, go outside. Like I have a big Siberian Husky, his name is Butch. He's the love of my life. And I walk him all the time, like, if if I start to lose focus, I take my dog out on a walk. Um, it's also important to schedule like meal times. Like I put coffee up there because I always have my morning coffee, but it's important to eat too. Um, schedule your meal times. So like in the morning, I have coffee and breakfast, and then this is just a general guideline. So at eleven, I start with a YouTube lecture. At twelve, I transition into taking notes, or I take notes with the YouTube lecture. At one, I do like a lunch. I do lunch and I walk my dog. Um, times of the day I usually walk my dog are like after breakfast, after lunch, and after dinner. Um, and then I study my notes, so it's important to like review your notes. Um, and then I take any tests I have due at three. Um, so it's important to make sure that you're like also studying your notes because we're used to having in-person class time and you're probably used to having study time and maybe a study hall or a place to do homework. Um, we no longer have that, we have our houses. It's also important to schedule your day so that you're not focusing on school for like the longest amount of time because what's gonna happen is if you don't let yourself fall into a routine, so say you wake up every day and you play video games all day and you mess around and then you go to bed, that's not what you want to be doing. Um, if you schedule five hours of school every day, so I schedule myself from 11 to like three, school ends after school is from four, uh, I schedule myself from like 11 to like three um to do school because if you do school for any more than five hours you're, it's it's unrealistic like to be doing so most high school students so like if you're a high school student you're probably in school from about eight o'clock in the morning to three o'clock in the afternoon um but you have time in between classes you have a set lunch time you have all this stuff that you're doing it's important not to schedule yourself from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock while you're in your house because if you do that, you're gonna go crazy. Like, it's unrealistic to do that much school in, you know, in a day. Like, it made sense when you were in high school because you had time in between classes and you had study halls and you had all that stuff. If you try to keep the same exact schedule you had, you're, you're, it's not gonna work. Um... So it's important, it's important to be checking your email. Don't forget to check your email. Don't forget to take breaks. After school is from, like, starts at four. So this is my little planner. Um, so I have after school starting at four. So at four o'clock, I, I get to be done with school. I get to stop writing and reading and taking notes. Like, you gotta put it away for the rest of the day. Like, if you're in the middle of a project at four and you wanna keep going, then that's fine. Like, you can totally do that, but... 
you want to stop at a certain time of the day so that you're not just going on and on and on and on. You want to have a set time to stop. So if after school at four, here's some ideas for things I can do. Paint, crafts, make a phone call, um, you know, Skype with friends, go hiking. There's a hiking trail right by my house. Go running, you know, um, read, read a book, write. I love writing. I love to write stories and like memoirs. So, um, and then I have a couple things that like I like to do every night, which is dinner. Then I do movie with my family, um, clean slash shower, you know, clean up every night. You want to be, you're going to be in your home space a lot. So cleaning is very important. Like, it's not going to be like you go out for the day and your mom cleans while you're like at school or, you know, you're going to be in your dorm room for a small amount of time. You're going to be there all day, every day for at least probably the next two weeks so you want to make sure that you are scheduling time to clean and that you're cleaning up after yourself because um maybe some of us have but the reality is most of us have never lived this way before I've never not gone out and seen friends every day I've never not gone to class every day I've never had to do this before so unfortunately um we're going to be in our space for like a prolonged period of time and we're going to have to keep it neat. Um, so just make sure you're keeping your space neat. And then I have bed by 12. You need to set yourself a bedtime just because, and like it needs to be a normal bedtime just because we're not in school and you can do your work from the hours of 1am to 5am does not mean that's what you want to be doing. You don't want to be doing your homework in the middle of the night and sleeping all day. It's not healthy because eventually life is going to resume to normal and you're going to need to get back on a regular sleep schedule and like you're going to have to go outside again. When everything opens up again, you're going to want to still have a normal sleep schedule. So it's really important that you keep a normal sleep schedule. So that's why I'm awake by 10 every morning and I go to bed by at least midnight. You know, there's no, nothing, like, especially now that we're all inside, nothing interesting is going to happen after 12 o'clock at night. It's just not. Now, I also have, like, a weekly planner in here, and that's important, too. So, here's my weekly planner. It's really pretty. You can see it. Um, so in my weekly planner, let's just start with Monday. So Monday, it says like, uh, at 11 I have accounting, at 1.30 I have astronomy, and then, um, I put time in there to like help my little siblings with school. They actually aren't in school yet, they start next week, but, um, you know, my mom's gonna need some help, so. I, I've started to schedule time in there to like, help the kids. So I have like my classes written in on the like daytime side. Um, I wrote the times that they're normally in in there. I didn't really need to do that because they're not like regular classes anymore, but it is important to write what classes you did have on what days. Just so like tomorrow when I, you know, when it's 11 and I'm starting to do schoolwork, I can focus on business class instead of, you know, just being all over the place trying to do astronomy and business and accounting all at once. Um, because it's just not helpful. And then there's like a to-do list over here that's really nice. Um, and you can just write like what you want to do that day. Like today I wrote like, it's Monday, I wrote that I wanted to like film my first ever YouTube video. So now... I can take a little heart from my sticker sheet and just like nicely place it, place it on there. And there we go. I, I filmed, um, I painted the doghouse with my siblings. Um, and then I put like, it's really important to remember your due dates because they've all changed most likely. Um, it's important to remember, so like I have an accounting exam 
due at midnight on Wednesday. So I put this little sticker in there that says I have something due. Um, I have a case study due for business, so I put that little sticker in there that says I have a case study due. I think what's most important, at least for me, is my daily life planner. So what I'm going to be doing every single day. It's important to remember to structure yourself. It's important to give yourself structure um, and make sure that you're doing activities of daily living, like brushing your teeth and showering and cleaning up after yourself and making sure you're getting like dressed and doing your hair if that's something you do or putting on makeup if that's something you do. Um, something also that I think is really important is checking in. It's really important to like check in with your family because they're living the same, they're living through the same thing you are right now. Like it's really hard. I'm living in a house with six other people right now. It's kind of a lot. I love them all very much. Um, and I want to make sure they're okay. So it's important that we're all checking in on each other. Um, it doesn't have to be constant, but just in the morning, like a quick, like, how are you doing today? It's important to structure your day as the initial chaos of the coronavirus ends. Um, because I just spent a week like with my family, with my partner, with my parents and siblings, like, um, and it was really fun. But now, like, the rubber meets the road, we, we have to focus on what's happening, and it's really important to structure your day. I keep seeing on these Pinterest boards um, with schedules that are scheduled down to the hour. Like, here's your hour of iPad time, here's your hour of homework, here's, like, an hour-long break, another, like, 15 minutes of, like, phone time. Like, I feel like that's not realistic. Like, it's going to create a lot of stress in your life. I feel like this is a little bit, it's relaxed. It allows you to do like get what you need done. So I have five hours to do school every day. It allows me to get what I need to get done. And then I have free time from four to 12 pretty much. And there's like activities of daily living that should be in there, but you shouldn't schedule yourself down to the hour cause you are going to exhaust yourself. It's important to schedule yourself so you know when to quit and when to start. But it is not important to schedule yourself to the point where you are like in the middle of an activity and you have to quit because your schedule says so. Um, but anyways, I really hope this video like helped someone at least. Thank you for watching all the way through. Um, I just wanted to make something like positive and something that could like help students right now that are struggling i know a lot of us got sent home um a lot of us got a lot of us lost our housing like places that we called home to us um and that's really really hard and it's important to stay positive in this time and to stay on task and to stay focused and like you know make yourself a planner and make yourself a schedule um, so that when things do go back to normal, we can resume our lives as planned. Um, that's all for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and staying positive. And don't forget to smile. Bye!